social distancing, sheltering in place, knowing who's essential or non-essential. Y'all, these are terms that aren't in most of our vocabularies. But here is what I know and what I hope you'll consider. These are uncertain times for sure. So now and for the foreseeable future, please, please consider staying safe at home. We know that our most vulnerable are people with pre-existing health conditions. New evidence is showing that the largest population contracting the virus are those between 18 and 65 years of age. These groups tend to be the most socially active of our population. So folks, don't get out if you don't have to. Take out or order in if that's available where you live, and if not, don't hesitate to let a friend or a neighbor or someone from church or work help you get the groceries, the medicine, and the supplies you need. But now staying at home does not mean inviting all your friends over. It means avoid interacting with others as much as possible. Everyone at every age is vulnerable. And we need all our people of all ages to start thinking about others, many that you love and care for even if you aren't thinking about yourself. The Bible in 1 Peter 5.10 tells us that the God of all grace, after you have suffered a little while, will restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. That is my prayer for all of us as we go through these challenging days. With faith and perseverance, we'll get through this together. May God bless each of you and the great state of Alabama.